hello out there. My name is Manafriani. I play in the band Explosions in the Sky. I'm at Amoeba Records in San Francisco. And this is what's in my bag, but basket, as it were. They said I'm gonna get a bag. I'm gonna get a bag, right? Oh, you're gonna get a bag. In our home, we like to listen to a lot of soundtracks as we like to watch a lot of film. And here is Black Orpheus, which is an amazing picture from the late 50s? 59, it wins the grand prize at Cannes. But this is Vince Guaraldi's take on this score. Which I found interesting because Vince Guaraldi's pretty great as he's peanuts and all that stuff. So to match it towards this Black Orpheus could make for a pretty great listen. And if you're not familiar with Black Orpheus, the film, that's well worth the watch. More soundtracks. Fellini Satricon. Nino Rota has made plenty of great scores. And I don't know this one, but look at this cover. Look at, look, look what's happening here. Rome before Christ and after Fellini. Well, all right. That sounds like something worth listening to. But really it was the cover that got me because I was not familiar with this either. And that's kind of what's fun about going into a record store. Like a bookstore or a library, I'm often just kind of overwhelmed by all that's at the fingertips. And oftentimes with old scores, if you don't know them or know the picture, there's a good chance it's gonna come out all right. I mean, of course, you're gonna miss from time to time, but I bet this one hits. Piero Piccioni, a modern gentleman. I just really liked the cover. You know, seldom do you see somebody smoking a cigarette on a cover of a record anymore. Italian composers, writers, you know Morricone, of course, everybody is very familiar with, and maybe also with Piero, but this cover is what got me. And I love the title too, A Modern Gentleman. I try to carry myself that way. And so it uh, spoke to me. Right, now some good soul, Ohio players. This seems to be a reissue with like some bonuses and stuff like that, observations in time. Really, it's this song that I'm chasing, Here Today, Gone Tomorrow. Play the here today, gone tomorrow. Each time you come, you leave a little sorrow. It's a really beautiful, special song especially for people who are on the road, who maybe have to leave family or leave your lover, and you kind of go do this thing. And the Ohio players really dialed it in with this track. I feel like it would resonate with almost any musician who's on the road. So yeah, here today, gone tomorrow. And really the Ohio players on and overall again are just making a lot of good music. De La Soul, Stakes is High. This was a pretty pivotal record for me and some friends, a couple of the guys in the band too. We just loved De La, and everybody has their favorite tracks, but this record in particular, Stakes is High, with its title track, Stakes is High, is a winner. When the stakes is high, you damn sure try to do anything to get the piece of the pop, electrify. It's So Easy is also a really great track. I mean, everything on this record, we were, Lucky enough to get to curate in All Tomorrow's Parties some years ago, and they were kind of like a wish list band that we just reached out for, and they showed up. It was incredible to see them play and perform, and they had a band with them, and they were real aces, all three of them. So Stakes is High is a record you should have in your collection, whether you're into hip hop or not. If money makes a man strange, we got to rearrange so that. What makes the world go I don't know. Gotta change how it's going. Yeah. 
Earl Gardner is this great piano player, and I just kind of enjoy piano music on an overall. I didn't know this record. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun as it's called The Most Happy Piano. So I gave it a go. Continuing with pianos, Bill Evans, great piano player. He's usually surrounded by some pretty great musicians. And there's another record I have of his that's really enjoyable and I didn't know this one. So I figured I like Bill Evans and I like the piano. So we gave it a chance. Aha, the Nutcracker, old Tchaikovsky. Which we're all familiar with, or probably most people are very Christmassy. My daughter is listening to a lot of music with us and she loves the Nutcracker piece and we listen to it often. So I thought to add to her collection, I would grab one of these and while I was there, the newest piece she's listening to is Swan Lake. And so here's a double dose to add to her collection for Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker and Swan Lake. And then another record and band that we listen to a lot in our home is The Turtles. They've just been a band that I responded to at a very young age when we would hear it on the oldie station, in the car, on the radio. Happy Together is a timeless song, but all of their tracks. The way these guys are putting music together and melody is very influential for me in how I play guitar and, and contribute the melodies that I do to the band. A lot of these guys in that era were reflecting each other a lot. Like, I was listening to Harry Nielsen the other day, and it's so reflective of the Beach Boys. And so then, to maybe connect the Turtles and the Beatles, yeah, you know, everybody's experiencing life similarly at the time, and making new music at the time, so I'm sure they each influenced each other over and over again. The Turtles, highly recommended, entire catalog. And then I saw a Roy Orbison record pop out because he's been on my mind lately. Only the Lonely. Only the Lonely. Come back to me, I'm hurting. I mean, these are incredible tracks and we don't have any Roy Orbison records in our collection and it was lucky to come across him because he's been on my mind and once I saw it, it reminded me I need to get some Roy. His voice is just so captivating and also his persona and showmanship, it's inspired and I'm happy to pick this one up. Because we love the turtles so much, I thought it might be nice to have a monkey's record in uh, the collection. This seems to be a reissue with some colored vinyl and, and the theme from the monkeys. I watched the monkeys a lot growing up. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. And then I was over here in the world section, the Wallyest band. I don't know anything about it, but I've come across a couple of other records that kind of look like this. You know, this is Africa in the 70s. I think this is Ethiopian, yeah. And there was just a lot of good music coming out of the continent at the time, in particular, Ethiopia. So while I don't know anything about this, this picture pretty much tells me it's gonna be pretty great. So yeah, that was just kind of a blind pickup. Hailu Mergia and the Wallyus band. I'm hoping it's good. And that was it. That was all of them. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for shopping with us today. Of course. Thanks a lot for having me. What a, what a treat to get to walk around like this.